So it's the uh, 26th of November 2021 and this is Neville Hobson. I'm here with a, a short video about CenterCam, uh, an adjustable webcam that operates in the middle of your screen that I'm using. So uh, it's smack in the middle, the lens. And uh, what you're seeing on the screen is the Indiegogo funding page for the company behind this, CenterCam. It's a startup based in the US uh, run by uh, a chap called uh, Ian Foster. And um, I contributed to, to the development and received one of the products as a perk for doing that. So uh, I've had this, I guess, about two weeks now. I've been uh, playing around with it, and that's probably the best way of describing it. Not seriously using it yet, other than a in a couple of Microsoft Teams calls. So um, I'll have a review in my blog that uh, um, I'll put this video there probably uh, when, when I've done that. Uh, soon, hopefully. Um, but uh, as you can see from the picture in the middle there, um, it shows the camera. It's on a flexible uh, tube that's quite uh, uh, not floppy, it's stiff. So you bend it and put it in the right position. And typically you do it from the top of your screen. Uh, what I've found um, is that because I have a curved monitor uh, with a curving out rear um, the, it, it won't clip at the top of the screen so luckily it's a Dell monitor I can clip it from the bottom of the screen which is how I have it uh, so it's literally the reverse of what you're seeing on the screen it uh, comes up from the bottom there's a flat piece behind that at the bottom on this Dell monitor where cables go the power supply cable etc just enough space for the clamp to clip and it is actually a clip, a uh, patent pending clip as it happens. That is the, uh, I guess, the USP of this, not the camera per se. The camera itself is high definition. Uh, it's very small, the lens. Uh, you can probably get a clue of, clue of that from the video that you're seeing on the screen, even though it's obscured by the play button, but the reflection behind it. It's the size of, I'd say, uh, a five pence piece in the UK. That's probably, what, what is that, a dime in the US, similar size to the lens. So it's quite small. Uh, it doesn't interfere with what you're looking at on screen if you prepare this well if you want to um, talk about stuff on the screen in a call for instance or in a video presentation a webinar whatever it is you're doing uh, this is perfect positioning what i like about it and indeed this is one of the selling points of it is it enables you or gives you the opportunity to participate in either live engagement with people via a zoom or a microsoft teams call that kind of functionality and that you can engage with them. You can look at them through the camera lens in the middle of the screen. That makes it look as if you're looking at them. Uh, otherwise, you're limited to typically what we've all been doing for years, which is to stare at the camera at the top of your screen like this. I do have a camera there, but it's not plugged in because I'm using this one. Um, less than engaging. Uh, or, uh, which is equally typical, uh, if you're on a Zoom call with lots of people, you'll be staring at the screen of those little uh, images of individuals uh, when you're talking. So it's not you don't you're not really engaged i like the idea of this i must admit uh, so uh, i decided to back it and now i'm trying it out i'm going to use it in a video presentation i'm recording uh, shortly um on something that uh, is about probably 20 minutes i suspect a kind of a, an explainer on a particular tech topic and i want to see how that works um would i use this software i'm used to record this one this is cyberlink uh, screen recorder not sure maybe i will uh descript is another tool i'm exploring uh, if i was using a powerpoint deck i may consider camtasia although that's a little pricey uh, there's plenty of tools you can use with a bit of practice and you can get quite proficient at doing this there's also teleprompter tools and indeed centercam's website has links to some very good ones i've played around with one that runs in the browser it's really good uh, it takes a bit of getting used to reading so your eyes um, when people are looking at you you, you look as though your eyes are, are reading something uh, so maybe a bit of practice on that but better than a bit of paper in your hand or looking at, at the screen elsewhere so I think this has got a lot of potential, uh, but I will have a review, as I said. Um, the uh, curved monitor thing uh, was, for me, certainly a bit of a, a, a curveball, let's say, when I first got it, thinking, how am I going to do this? So I have another monitor, flat screen, uh, UHD monitor 28 inch on another computer, which is where I was using it from the top. Perfect. But I really wanted to use it on the curves because this is my primary monitor plugged into the system I use most of the time. And there is a workaround. Now, not all monitors, I gather, are like the Dell one with a space behind because the issue is really is the clip it needs to a clip with enough grip 
to the bezel. The trouble with uh, uh, the, the curved one I've got is A, it has no bezel at the top or the sides. It was very minimal, uh, so little to grip, uh, but mostly it's the, it's the way the back of the monitor curves out. It's not flat, vertically flat. So there is a workaround, like I said, and maybe others have different solutions for other types of monitor. But I could see this, uh, notwithstanding all of that, if you get it to work, and, and by the way, to get it to work from the bottom, uh, the image is upside down when you clip it. Uh, I'm running Windows 11, and this uh, uh, version of Windows uh, has a feature or a setting in the settings for camera uh, that lets you rotate the screen. And luckily it has an option to rotate 180 degrees, and voila, I'm there the right way up. Uh, solves that. Uh, I gather from talking to people that if they're on Windows 10 still, it doesn't have that feature, or, or maybe it depends on the camera. I noticed, though, two other webcams. I've got different brands, one by Anchor, one by Logitech, both have that feature in Windows 11 to rotate the image. So it's an operating system feature, not a camera or manufacturer of the camera feature. That's great. Either way, it's great. So, um, Brief intro to it. I think it's worthwhile. I think they're doing a great job, these guys. They're definitely the first to market with this. I've not seen anything like this anywhere else. Um, it has obvious uses of a couple of them I've, I've mentioned earlier. Uh, I hope they succeed with this. Uh, I think the um, uh, what I'm reading, monitor development on laptop screens as well as uh, uh, bigger monitors for desktop systems, is that higher definition webcams are coming. Uh, but still, it doesn't solve the problem. The, the, mon the camera lens is going to be in the top of the screen. Um, Dell experimented a year or so back with the camera lens at the bottom of the screen um, built in on laptop does nothing for anyone. All you see is someone's nose, and if they've got a hairy nose, it's not a pretty sight. So they changed that, I believe. I've got a Dell laptop that doesn't have the camera at the bottom, it's at the top. Still at the top, though, this solves uh, or meets a need, not solves a problem per se, it meets a need that other cameras can't do on, on uh, computers. So it's great. I'm pleased with this, I must admit. So with that, I'm going to stop uh, this little intro, and I'll have a a review soon www.nevillehobson.com so uh, keep your eye out